Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? Did you lose your tour group or something? <sighs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. So, oh. what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? Yes. Yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Oh, uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. You too. <laughs> Friends. No here, eh? You're used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. No, <laughs> nothing like that. Hmm? No, I'm a uh, pretty single. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do, and now. Who is that guy anyway?
Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there, but the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. Someone has barricaded the path. Looks like the bridge is out. Thank <laughs> you. 
This room has fared better than the rest of the cavern, it seems. This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the Condor, but we let the eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things, thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets, but the eagle took that away as well.
Miss Ortiz, thank you. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. Do you have anything you want to trade? Hello? Let me guess, Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I? I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured, yeah, never mind. Are you looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwakiyaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. I'm sorry, friend, but that's not a good deal. You'll need more if you want to make a deal. Excellent choice. I'm sorry, friend, but that's not a good deal. All full up. Can't carry any more. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Enjoy. 
Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Impossible. I have a family to feed. That deal would ruin me. Pleasure doing business with you. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Hear them calling from under the earth. The voices. The old gods. Maybe you just need to rest. No. See for yourself. See where the breath of the gods rises from the womb of the earth. Listen to their pained howls. I have noticed that. Where is this breath? You'll see. You'll hear it. Perhaps you can ease their suffering. Hey, looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Turn a look. Eshel and Shakshal, the twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> the twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. the temple. Great! Damn. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look.
Sorry, sir. Drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. Glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on it. Very bad. we knew what was going on.
Commander will get things back on track. I don't have enough space for that. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I... What happened here? I said don't break anything. Hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Lara. Don't do anything crazy. Trinity's really on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does. Sealing everything up because Commander Wolf said to hold the perimeter. No one goes in or out. I know that, smart ass, but you know why? That's above my pay grade. When the recon team gets here, maybe they'll be able to tell us something.
Borvenir, this is Commander Rourke. Have you achieved lockdown? We're almost there. All access points are covered, and most of the barricades are finished. Almost isn't good enough. Secure the perimeter now, and make damn sure it's locked tight. Aye, sir. Uh, if I could ask, sir, uh, what's going on? Recon team is en route. Rourke out. No one knows what happened? Was there any indication what might be happening before we lost contact? and then come up. Shouldn't we send someone down to look for them? Rourke was explicit. No search and rescue until the recon team gets here. But it's almost been an hour since last contact. The commander doesn't abandon his people. He says wait topside. Locked down. All we have to do is wait for the recon team. Doesn't it seem a little weird to you? There was a problem underground, but we're fortifying ourselves from a threat from overland. Seems pretty standard. If something did go wrong, we should assume it could be anything. We've got the temple covered, too. I don't know, man. It still feels like we went from an amber alert in a known area to a red alert all over the place. We've been overreacting to things ever since that storm hit. I must be going crazy. What now? <laughs> Jonah, Commander Rourke is here in Peru. He ordered Trinity to lock down a dig site below an old oil well. You going to check it out? Yeah, I'll see what they found. Rourke was there in Cozumel when Dominguez took the dagger. They must have figured out the next step to the hidden city. There's 
there's been a bloodbath here. What happened? Jonah, I made it inside the temple. I think we found something here too. Some numbers. I'm gonna clear it off. The numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Isha on the left, Shaksha on the right. Open the doors to find more symbols. I'll have to open the doors to find... These cranks turn the pillars. I could use them to match the symbols. These cranks turn the pillars. I could use them to match the symbols. The numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Ishal on the left, Shakshal on the right. Open the doors to find more symbols. Steady now. <clears throat> Have to keep matching the symbols on the pillars to those on the walls. Damn, I should have known. Too close. 
close. Have to keep matching the symbols on the pillars to those on the walls. In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have the photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. Okay, Jonah, what's the final number for Shack Shell? A line across with two dots on top of it. Seven, I think. Thanks.
Jonah. Hey, Lara. It's Abby. Oh, hey, Abby. I found a mural. It seems to depict some kind of journey. Entering through a jaguar mouth follows a serpent toward a silver eye. Uh-huh. On the way, there's a spider and an eagle that rises toward a temple. Okay, I don't know about most of that, but the jaguar mouth is back this way. Really? Yeah. Cat sculpture, big teeth. Oh, here. He's back. Laura, you okay? Yeah, I'm heading back. Good. I think you're gonna like this. This describes something nearby. Two guardians have fangs. Two guardians have feet. One guardian has both to better protect me. 